Hi, kids. Today we will learn more on comparing decimal numbers. So let's get started. First of all, we will learn tenths, hundredths, and thousands placed in a decimal number. Kids, first place to the right of the period is called tenths place. 0 0.4 or 4 by 10, we name it as 4 tenths and it represents four parts out of 10 equal parts. Second place to the right of the period is called hundreds place. 0 0.04 or four by 100. We name it as four hundreds and it represents four parts out of 100 equal parts. Now kids, what's the third place to the right of the decimal? Would be called thousands place. It is called thousands place. 0 0.004 or four by 1000, we name it as four thousands and it represents four parts out of thousand equal parts. So, the farther the digit from the decimal, the smaller the fraction it represents. Tenths place means one part out of 10. Hundreds place means one part out of 100. And thousands place means one part out of thousands. So, point 0.1 is bigger than point 0.01 and point 0.01 is bigger than point 0.001. Kids, here is a very important rule for you to remember. Adding any number of zeros to the right of a decimal number does not change the number. So, 0 0.5, 0 0.50, or 0 0.500 are the same. Now, let's see some instances when it is important to calculate and record numbers less than one. A slice of pizza cost 1.45. Here it is a decimal number where one is a whole number representing a dollar and 0.45 is a fraction of a dollar and it is 45 cents. So 1.45 means a dollar and 45 cents. Let's take another example. Dan won the marathon by completing it in 2.30 hours. It is a decimal number where two is a whole number representing two hours and 0.30 is a fraction of an hour and it is 30 minutes. Now, let's learn other ways of comparing decimals. When comparing decimals, begin on the left and look for the first place to compare the numbers. It's just a same way we compare our whole numbers. Now let's take an example. Let's compare 0.7 and 0.7. We have to start at left and look for the first place where the digits are different. And here, the leftmost digits are different. So comparing 7 and 0, we get 0.7 is bigger than 0.07. Now, 
Let's take another example. Let's compare point 0.5 and point 0.005. We have to start at the left and look for the first place where the digits are different. And here, the leftmost digits are different. So, comparing 5 and 0, we get 0.5 is bigger than 0 0.005. Now, let's take another example. Let's compare 0.34 and 0.36. We have to start at the left and look for the first place where the digits are different. And here, the digits at hundreds place are different. So comparing 4 and 6, we get 0 0.36 bigger than 0 0.34. Now let's take another example. Let's compare 4.5 and 4.2. We have to start at the left and look for the first place where the digits are different. And here, the digits at tenths place are different. So comparing 5 and 2, we get 4.5 more than 4.2. Now let's take another example. Let's compare 1.99 and 1.87. We have to start at the left and look for the first place where the digits are different. And here, the digits at tenths place are different. So comparing 9 and 8, we get 1.99 is more than 1.87. Now, let's take one more example. Let's compare 5.60 and 5.600. First of all, remember that zeros are rightmost places in decimal numbers have no value. So, 5.60 is the same as 5.6. And 5.600 is the same as 5.6. So, both the numbers are the same. So, kids, today we have learned how to compare decimals. Now, you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.